are again. Here we are again. All right, so Coach Kathy and Henri Skiba, and you know Henri from the videos, and we do a lot of work at Skiba's gym, but we are not at Skiba's gym. So today we're down in Keyport, and we are at Real Gym with owner Flippin' It, Donnie Blanks. How's it going? And Christine. So take a look at this facility, and I'll tell you a little story. I came here probably for the first time about, I don't know, three years ago, maybe, three years ago. And when I walked in the door, because here I am, we're down the shore, and across the street is the ocean, and when I walked in, you can, t you can just sense something about a place if you're sensitive to energy when you walk into it. I didn't understand it. There was just something about this place, and Christine was at the desk, and I didn't know what I was doing. We were meeting to do a podcast, so I went up to the second floor, which blew me away because it was more um, weightlifting equipment. And then I made it up to what I didn't even know was the third floor, right? And there's, um, there was turf, and they were training, and it was phenomenal. So this is a, just a key powerlifting facility that offers so much more and than what I always Things that come along with a place that makes it truly special is beyond the bar. And it's the wisdom and the knowledge that comes from years of training. And these two have known each other for years. Listen, when I look at this place, it makes me so proud of Donnie because this place, this actually just says how he's always felt for years. It is a real gym. Where do you train at? You train at a real gym. You come here, you look at what's on the walls, the facility, the field, the people that are here. There's no make-believe people. There's people come here. I watch guys over here. They're over there training. They're really training. This is this is a blood and guts, hardcore training facility that has a lot of the amenities too, but the main thing is attitude. And a person like Donnie that is so well-rounded in physical fitness and activities, this guy can still do the standing tough. You know, it's amazing because he's a big guy. He's strong as hell. He's going after, we're talking stuff all the time, he's going after some deadlift, deadlift records. I know he's at least 50 now, right? 52. 52, oh my God. But listen, that means it's not over. For all you people out there, this is, you want to find the Fountain of Youth, well, I'll tell you, there's one of them right over here mm -hmm. in Keyport. Because this place, when I come here, every time we have a workout, it's special. All my friends come back and say, man, I had a great workout. Why? Because we trained at a real gym. That's the key. I don't want to age, age on Andre, but he had me ever since I was a teenager. I was a teenager, I think I was about 17 years old. He snatched me up. I was bodybuilding at one end of the gym and he needed help put on his bench shirt. I went to the back of the gym. I helped him out and uh, later on I went back to lift and he came over to me. He said, kid, what do you want to do? What are you trying to be? I said, I don't care what I look like. I just want to be strong. And he said, well, forget about all that stuff over there and get back over here with us. And that was the beginning of my powerlifting career. And I'm 52 years old. I'm a lifetime natural. I've been rock and rolling a long time. And that stinks to that big step I took with this gentleman right here. And if you can see my arm right now, the, you see the, look at the chills come up my arm. The best is yet to come, people. But you know what happened today, too? As we're sitting here, the phone rings. Unknown caller. Who is it? A 22-year-old kid who's a wrestler who wants to build strength. It, it's t still happening every day. That's right. Affecting other people's lives. So... Big meet here on July 10th, Beast of the Bay Shore. It's the third Beast of the Bay Shore, but this time it's signing up with a yeah, IPA sanctioned meet. Yeah, sanctioned by the IPA. So all you lifters come out and break some world records, some Save national state records, and let's rock and roll. All July you people have been dying to get out 10th. there. But listen, come out even before, because listen, I don't know what the, you know how they do different things. See the place. You're out here, you're on a, on a waterfront, the summertime's coming, right? People are out there running, they're doing their thing, you've got giant tires, you've got people sweating and training. Come feel what it's all about here. There's not many places around like this anymore. Well, you just said it, come feel, because that's what I said when we first started. It's the feeling when you walk in the door, there's an energy in a place, and that's what builds strength. That wisdom, the knowledge, the equipment, everything rolled into one. July 10th. That's it. Come join us.